Jane Austen was one of the most famous, the most significant, the most influential British authors of all time. Austen captures something of the internal workings of the human soul and she creates characters that have a life of their own almost beyond the page. The materials that were contained as part of this collection are absolutely vital to British cultural heritage. We first heard about the Austen materials being part of the collection when we saw the Sotheby's listing. We found that there was first one Austen letter and then we later found that there were two Austen letters as part of this truly extraordinary collection. And they are wonderful communicators of her voice, her actual voice. One letter is one of the earliest surviving letters we have of Jane Austen, written when she's 20 and describing a love affair. This letter here is letter number two on display. And the first line it says, at length the day has come on which I am to flirt my last with Tom Lefroy. And we do have it displayed with a portrait miniature of the man himself. So together they bring what is kept in the pages of biography to vivid vivid life. This letter is letter 87, so written much later in Austen's life. She is in the middle of her professional career as a writer and she's shopping in Bond Street. And it is a wonderful gazetteer of her time in London and the places she goes. And it's a real relic of everyday life. I mean, they're wonderfully gossipy letters. Each of them gives us insights into aspects of her life that we just love to hear more about. And this is where letters like this and the collections held in museums and libraries and the tree houses are so important to bringing authors' pasts to life. This house is absolutely crucial to Austen's creative and personal life. Before she moved here, she'd had a period of great housing uncertainty. But yet when she comes here with that sense of security, with a safe, permanent home, which is what her heroines are looking for at the heart of every single novel. When she has that in this house, she has the financial, the emotional, the creative freedom to write. To be able to purchase those letters and bring them back to the house where she sat and wrote her books, her letters. As you look at Jane Austen's letter and you see the table she's written it on and you hear the openness and candour of her personality. You can almost feel that she's in the room. I mean, there are so few of Jane Austen letters to have survived at all. Most of them were routinely destroyed by her sister, who was her executor. There's something incredibly special about seeing the remnants of the physical process of her writing. Jane Austen's letters are domestic art, and to have them inside Jane Austen's house. The house that she either wrote from or wrote to is particularly moving, I think. <laughs>